Hi, and welcome to Learn City. My name is Grace, and I'm your mathematics tutor. Last class, we talked about change of subject or formally, the rules, and we solved one example to explain better on how change of subject or formally is being done. Today, we'll be doing two examples. We'll be doing some examples on how to solve our questions on change of subject or formally. We basically talked about the rules last class, whereby you remove your fractional parts, you bring one part to the other part, you bring one side of the equation which are similar to the other side, then you factorize in place of brackets, then you simplify as much as possible, making a letter which we are asked to find for the subject of the formula itself. Now today we'll be basically doing some examples on change of subject of formula. Now, our first example, it says make x the subject of the relation in 1 plus ax over 1 minus ax, which is equals to p over q. Like I said, we have 1 plus ax over 1 minus ax is equals to p over q. 1 plus ax over 1 minus ax is equals to p over q. Now, what do we do? In our last class, we talked about the first rule, which is you remove the bracket, the root signs, or the fractional part. Now, if you should check this question right, we don't have a root sign. We don't have the square sign. We don't have the bracket, but we have the fractional part. The fractional part is 1 plus ax over 1 minus ax, which is equals to p over q. Now, we have to remove the fractional part. Then what do we do? You cross multiply. Cross multiply. Such that 1 plus ax over 1 minus ax is equals to p over q, then you cross multiply. You cross multiply. Then, when you cross multiply, what will our answer be? You basically be having p into brackets 1 minus ax is equals to q into brackets 1 plus ax. P into bracket 1 minus AX, which is equal to Q into bracket 1 plus AX. Now, we multiply. Multiply P and Q by the brackets. So, let's pick the left hand side lhs which is p into bracket one minus a x so p into bracket one minus a x is multiplied as p times one which is p minus p times a x is p a x why because we cannot just put a x there the P, they are three different letters on its own, so it has to be together. Now, the right hand side, we have Q into brackets 1 plus AX. Q, it's when they want it to be Q times 1, which is Q plus QAX. Now, we've multiplied the right hand side and the left hand side. We remove them out of their brackets and now they are equation they are equations on their own they are numbers on their own they are letters on their own then back to our question we have it with p minus p a x which is equals to q plus q a x now we should not forget that we are making x the subject of the relation. Now, we have x here. We have x here. What do we do? 
since we talk about since we have two x's there you have to make it in such a way that our x is just one y because you have to look for x you have to make x the subject of violation not x squared not 2x not x plus x not ax or the likes now how do we do it following our rules we we'll make sure that letters that are similar are bring birth to the to one side and letters that are similar are brought to the other side now which one is similar we have qax and px why because they both have the ax and the ax and they have the x which we are practically looking for you have it to be p is equals to q plus q a x plus p a x why this thing is turning to plus is because when you're having minus p x when you're taking a particular letter or a number to the other side while having a negative sign the sign will change to positive Likewise, when you are having a positive side sign on one side, when you are taking it to the next side, it will be turning to negative. Let's not forget that. When you are having a positive sign on one side, when you are bringing the number to the other side, it will be turning to negative and vice versa. Now, we have it to be Q, P is equal to Q plus QAX plus P, AX. And we have it to be like, okay, what do we do? We have Q, A, X, we have P, X, and we have Q at the same time. Then at this point, we bring Q to the left hand side. So we have it to be P minus Q is equals to Q, A, X plus P, A, X. Now, at the right hand side, what is common? A, X is common, right? And at this place, what can we do? We can basically bring our x out first, since we are looking for x. So we have it to be p minus q is equal to x into bracket q a plus p a. So what do we do? We divide through by q a plus p a. Now it's to be P minus Q over Q A plus P A is equals to X into bracket Q A plus P A over Q A plus P A. This will cut this. Now we have it to be P minus Q equals to Q A plus P A, which is equals to X. And it can also be written as x is equals to p minus q over. Now we have a in common for our qa and our pa. So we we'll bring our a out to make our equation a standard one. A into bracket q plus p. So this is our final answer. So our first question, which is 1 plus ax over 1 minus ax equals to p over q making x the subject of the formula we have it to be x is equals to p minus q over a into brackets q plus p and we can basically write it as p minus q over a into bracket p plus q it is still the same thing now taking the next example we have to make s the subject of the formula in v equals to k over root c over s make s the subject of the formula now in this form not forgetting the rules that we begin by clearing fractions roots or brackets now we have a root sign here what do we do now this root sign is two the root there is two so what do we do we square both sides so we have it to be v squared is equal to k squared over root c minus s squared so this squared will cancel this root sign 
So we have it to be b squared is equal to k squared over t minus s. Now, what do we do? We cross multiply. We have to be b squared into bracket t minus s is equal to k squared. Now, what do we do? We divide through. by b squared so we have it to be c minus s is equals to k squared over b squared we have to be t minus s is equals to k squared over b squared now making s the subject of the formula then we bring t to the right hand side why because it is disturbing our s so we have to be minus s is equals to k squared over v squared minus t. Now, we have minus here. What do we do? We have to make s the subject of our formula, not minus s. So, multiply through by minus by negative sign. So multiplying to we have s is equal to minus k squared over v squared plus t. We should not forget that our minus times minus is plus. So we write in this, we can have it to be s is equal to t minus k squared over v squared. So this is our final answer of making s the subject of the formula. Now we've done questions, we've made some examples of change of subject or formula. And I hope this will explain more about change of subject or formula. And with this, we've come to the end of our class for today. So till next class, do have a lovely time and make sure to solve more questions. Thank you.